a chair right to the midsection. Now, I haven't been in a lot of last man standing matches, Kevin. A couple I have, though. I try to be smart because it's not first man knocked out, it's last man standing. So you take a guy's wheels out of him, he can't stand up, you can win the match. Because it's a lot easier to take someone's wheels out than to knock them out, yeah. especially when it's a guy like Kevin oh, Steve. Absolutely easier said than done. There's been two last man standing matches in Ring of Honor's history. Steve was in one of them and was victorious over Hulk Vanna at the Chicago Honor 5. And now with the, I believe that's the Canadian flag. Take a look at the crowd now, everybody on their feet. Everybody come up for this match, they know how excited, how important this match is, and just how dangerous a person Kevin Steen is. It certainly is, and now it's another chair being thrown into the ring by Generico. Talk about knowing how dangerous he is, you've got to talk about Jimmy Jacobs. Yeah, the last time we saw Steen at the 10th anniversary event, victorious over Jimmy Jacobs. The match turn for Steen's favor, oh my goodness. In case the rope broke, they've got an extra one under the ring. It was just used as a weapon. Wait a minute, that turnbuckle. When last we saw Steen on pay-per-view, a win over Jimmy Jacobs, but Jacobs delivered the spike to the head of Steen. And you thought Jacobs was gonna win, but he stopped. There was a moment there, right? Yeah, and he dropped the spike. It was almost as if, I don't know, but was he overcome by the reality? Oh my goodness, Steen out of the way. Was he overcome by the reality of what he had done? All his rehab work of trying to go on the straight and narrow, turn away from his violent past and gone for naught. But either way, that window of opportunity from the fight that allowed him to score victory in the victory here at Ring of Honor. But this is, you know, this could be uh, Christmas in late March for Jim Cornette. Because if Steen keeps winning matches, his claim of wanting a world title match, oh, wait a minute now. Reversal, and there goes Steen to the barricade. Head first, did you see that? Oh, man, the turnbuckle, he was hit with the rope, he's been hit with the barricade. Trying to get his hands up, but he just couldn't get him up in time. You know, Steen uh, keeps on his winning streak. At some point, Cornette is gonna have to relent. But Generico can end things Oh, oh now wait a minute, wait a minute. Second. Steen kicked his way out of that one. Generico had to drop that chair, but he's coming back with four arm smashes and up on the corner. Turn it out, I'm gonna stop him. There are no rope breaks. There is nothing but getting back on your feet. And you got 10 seconds to do it. Generico savoring every moment here. Don't for a think for a second, he has to be thinking about this every moment of every day. Yakuza kick, no! They're right up above us, Kevin, oh be my careful. God. Yeah, this is what I hate. I got one step to the side. Wait a minute, I think we're all right here. Steve looks out, come on, he's fighting him right on the back! Ugh. Welts on the back of Generico for the attack earlier on from Steve. Wait a minute, super fights outside. Shot to the midsection of Steve. Connor coming in, ace crusher. like that thing to turn around here. Look at the way Steed smartly backs away, allowing Paul Turner to apply the count. Up to the chair again. Just in case Generico gets back up. Wait a minute now. There's repayment for earlier on. Oh! Right across the back and shoulder blades. What a sick individual. 
I wrestled Kevin Steele a number of times. There was one time I threw him from the guardrail, clear to the apron. I couldn't believe he could walk again, yet, it, yet carry on for the rest of the match and nearly beat me. Something's very wrong in that man's head. It certainly is. Oh, he's going for the knockout kick there. The knockout shot with the chair. Wait a minute, Generico. Steve gets his hands up to punch. Wait a minute now, Kevin Steen. Oh no! Oh! My goodness! I feel the receiving end of that, not with the chair. And that enough of itself is enough to knock you out. Generico in a lot of trouble here. Well, will that be enough to keep one of the most resilient men I have ever seen compete in the squared circle down for 10 seconds? Seven, Generico gets back to his feet, breaks the count before eight. But he's right back down to a knee. Legs are like rubber, Kevin. He can barely put any weight on them. That's a bad sign. It shows you've got some neck damage. He's got that chair set up, maybe going for a pack of car driver. He gets disqualified, he'd get suspended, right? Yeah, certainly would. That would be it for Steen. I'm keeping away from that madman. Pulling himself up. Wait a minute now. Oh! One of the ringside attendants just got kicked in the face. Yakuza kick from El Generico. Steam peeling away down here at ringside. Trying to get away. Generico starts up. Yakuza kick again. There's no protection. We saw it earlier with Jay Lethal, the damage that can be caused. What is Steve doing? What's Generico going to do? Steve hiding amongst the fans. Raising the stakes here. 
thumb in the eye to take control. Oh my goodness. If he goes for that power bomb here, look, F Sang. Look at this. Wait a minute. Oh. Tried for that half Nelson. German suplex. Oh! I think you know driver of course. That's a two count. Will that be enough? Is Steed out? Is Kevin Steed done? Five count. almost land on his feet. Unbelievable. Had he not been on the stage, Kevin, I don't think he had the energy to get on his feet. Watch out! Oh, my God! <laughs> Way above us! I've never seen anything like it. thinks it's over. He soared right over our announce position. And Steve's back up. Wait a minute now. Oh! What agility! That's got to be it. Generico's got to be on Jim Cornette's Christmas card list now. Surely that's it. Steen, though, starting to stir, starting to pull himself up. Can he get back to his feet before 10? Nine, and he's up. He is up. Paul Turner was right there. What is it going to take to put him away? Yakuza kick right off the apron. like some, some ghoul from a horror movie, just refuses to die, refuses to give up. Generico now looking underneath the ring. Got bad intentions, yeah. I don't know what's under there. Steel chairs and a plate of roll, wait a minute now. Oh, he's yeah. pulling out a table, Nigel. There oh, it is! Up in the camera table, but it's free now, and the table could very well be a weapon that ends things for Kevin Steen. La Revancha, last man standing. Steen and Generico, here at Showdown of the Sun. He remembers that package pile driver through the table. Oh, he certainly does. Maybe he's going to try and do a brain buster through the table. That has to be the end for Steen. That would be La Revancha for Generico to give it back to Steen for everything that Steen put him through. What had to have been exhausting, painful hours in a hospital, then the rehabilitation to this moment here. Cervical vertebrae damage. We wondered if we would ever see Generico again, but wait a minute now. Steen somehow comes back, comes back face first into the steel ring post. What in the world is this? Watch out! He's on his feet. Steen is back up, but just barely. And Generico is down, and his night could be done. Seven count. As Steen came over there. Hey! Oh, Generico! Up. Almost. That was at nine, actually. And Generico finally got back up. Everyone here at the War Memorial Auditorium is on their feet. They can't believe what they are seeing. These two men, these two great athletes, and yes, Kevin Steen is a great athlete. He and El Generico are absolutely tearing the house down here in Fort Lauderdale.
Every time these two get in the ring, we see a classic. The fans calling for the pile yeah, driver again. Pile driver's fan here in Ring of Honor now, but maybe he doesn't care. I don't know. Maybe got him he up. doesn't need it. The F sank, perhaps. No. Wait a minute. Did a buckle, they didn't give one inch. His neck, his vertebra, not moving. God damn it, Kevin, don't get up. His eyes glazing. Eight count now. Wait a minute, Steve. Back down, nine, ten. Oh, just before ten, he gets back on his feet. This last man standing war continues. Are we trying to pull him off the ropes for a brain buster, perhaps? Steen holding on for dear life. Across the exposed back of Kevin Steen, the steel chair. Here there we it is, brain buster! Brain no. buster. Wait a minute, Steen. I don't know, Kevin, if he has the strength to get him up. That's a big man to get up for a brain buster this late in the match. Oh, after everything. Oh, my. Oh, my God. count now. If there is any decency, Generico, stay down, please. Think of your career. Well, what kind of career like? Did he break the count? He's up. Turner says he's up. Yeah, that was enough. He broke the count. But what kind of career would he have if he doesn't get back up, though, Nigel? Well, he may not have any career. If he does, you've got to understand, Kevin, the very real physicality of what I, we're seeing here. I do understand it, Nigel. These two men have to settle this. This has to be settled. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh! Through the ring. Keeper's table. The timekeeper's table is gone. Kevin Steen's body. Looks like beat no! Nine, and he's up. And he's back in. Both of these guys has given every last iota of energy. Yes, 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 yes indeed. Yeah, what does Jericho yes, need to do to put Steve yes, down with a 10 count and vice versa? Yes, and we're back where we started the center of the ring. Both men almost sick with the damage that they endured during this match. Oh, look at Insult to injury, Kevin. And receipt in kind for Generico. There you go. Oh, come on. F sank perhaps on the shoulders. No, couldn't hit it. Gets him up. Yes! One. Both men are down. Two. Somebody's got to get up. This has got to be the end for both of these guys. On a knee. Seven. Seven count. Steen, Generico, each have chairs. They use the chairs to prop themselves up to be able to get back on their feet. 
anything they can do to get back on their feet, neither man will give. You will not see any more heart, guts, and determination in professional wrestling today. Look at these guys. Each swing of the tear. First person to drop it loses. Oh, no. No. That was a low blow there. No disqualification here. He's no way of protecting himself now. Well, I think Steve I can't down. watch, Kevin. I cannot All watch. Right, well. Taking us back to final battle. This is how it is. And Jimmy Jacobs is here. Jacobs has just put himself between he and Elton Erico, preventing Steve from swinging that chair. Shook his head, he said no. What's going on in that man's head? Wait a minute. Oh, oh. on top of the chair. And now we speculated on what Jimmy Jacobs' mindset was earlier on in the wake of what happened at the anniversary event. I guess we could see it. Here he goes. Gave him the chair. Wait a second. He's got it. He's got the chair in his hand. I don't know if you can see, though. Jimmy Jacobs. Oh, my God. He just pulled a spike out of his jacket. He just stabbed out to Erico. Laughing. We talked earlier what? about what's going on in his head. We've seen. What the hell was that? Welcome back, Jimmy, they're saying. Is this the Jimmy Jacobs of old? I don't know, but now Kevin Steen is free to do whatever he wants. That is. This is one of the most dangerous men in Ring of Honor history. The Jimmy Jacobs is old. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Right in the head. And if Kevin Steen was Wessing's worst nightmare, with Jimmy Jacobs in tow, oh my goodness. this could spell absolute disaster for Ring of Honor. Five, six. He's not getting up, Kevin, surely. Seven, eight. Come on, Generico. He can't do it. Get down. Down.